Okay, let's look at keyframing scale and position. Now, we know that we can change scale and position really easily on a clip just by selecting a clip and under effect controls, you are then able to change the scale here. So you can click and drag this 100 number to the right and it'll bring the scale up. There we go. And you can do the opposite like that. Okay, so that's all fine. And we can reset it back by clicking the reset button there. And you can change position just by using these two here. Okay, so this is uh, horizontal, this is vertical. So if I slide that, it's gonna slide it horizontally. If I slide this number, it's gonna change the vertical position. But for the higher band, we need to keyframe this. So what I want is I would like to start off zoomed in on maybe this wheel. And then as the clip goes on, that we zoom out to see the whole clip. Okay, so this is keyframed uh, scale and positioning. Right, so how do I do that then? Well, let's just go to the first frame of that clip. And let's add some keyframes for position and scale. So I'm going to click on the little clock, keyframe, keyframe. Okay. And what I can do there is I can then on this keyframe, maybe I can zoom in. There we go. Zoom in as much as I want. And then maybe I want to drop that down. So we're looking at the feet there. Brilliant. Okay. So now if I click play, it's just going to be zoomed in all of the time. Now that's not going to get us into the higher mark bands. We need to keyframe that to change the zoom and position level to change. So to do that, just go anywhere else in your clip. So maybe about here. And I'm just now going to reset the position and scale. Okay, reset, reset. And you can see what it's done. It's just added two more keyframes for me whenever I've changed anything. So now if I go back to the beginning of the clip, we're going to be zoomed in at the beginning. And here we go. We're zooming out. So the position and the scale is changing as the clip plays. And that's keyframing position and scale. <laughs>